Monaco, the place to see exotic cars, and this is a new one. It's the McLaren F1. A brand new car designed by Gordon Murray, who wanted to make the ultimate sports car. Well, you like it? I do. But you can judge for yourself. Why have I built this car? I've always wanted to make the ultimate sports car, always. And um, I never really thought I'd get the opportunity to do it this well. And it's, some, it's a passion I've wanted to, it's something I wanted to do all my life, really, from uh, 18 years old, to build the best sports car I could build. You, you have been t t totally free, you can... Absolutely, absolutely. Clean sheet of paper. And it was never a question of never question of money, never question. Sure, there's a budget. There's a, a budget for the program, but the cost of the car, uh, the actual unit of the car, wasn't in question. It was the, the best car that McLaren could make. You you met yesterday evening a lot of people who maybe are going to buy the car. Sure, what, okay. what are their, their first reaction? What kind um, of people it is first and what are? Quite a wide selection, actually. Some car collectors, of course. Um, a lot of drivers, which are satisfying, because I think the car, above all, is a driver's car. It's a car to be used, really. Uh, I know the car is very expensive, but it is a driver's car. And a lot of the people who have bought the car are people that we know will actually use the car and drive the car, which for me is very satisfying. Uh, some cars will go to collections, I'm sure. But um, quite a high percentage of people are going to drive it. Some people from the music industry, some people from um, people that collect classic cars, for instance. What we were trying to make really was a modern classic. Can you, can you speak a bit to us about the uh, technical specification, what will be the performance of the car, if you can uh, imagine it. I mean, the performance is almost incidental. If you have a car that weighs 1,000 kilos and has more than 550 horsepower, you have performance. What's more important for me is that the car is safe and enjoyable to drive. And the technical specification of the car really is aimed at making the car stable, and a driver's car and enjoyable. The performance you get for nothing. If you have that power and that weight, I didn't say to myself the car should do 350 kilometers, for instance, but it's going to be very fast. You get it for nothing. Much more important to have stable aerodynamics and um, the intelligent brake cooling, things to help the driver enjoy the car at high speed, I think is uh, much more important. How is going to work those ventilators, like a Pamela car? Uh... Well, not quite the same, no. No, those are, uh, the, the, the fan car was very crude. It was a huge fan sucking the car onto the ground. These ones are more sophisticated. It's electric uh, or it's They're what? electric and they remove the boundary layer and control the center of pressure, the stability of the car uh, under different ride heights and different uh, ride conditions. We did a lot of tests. We did more than 1,000 tests in the wind tunnel, in the Formula One tunnel. Why, why the car is so expensive? Because um, it's handmade. Each car will take four months but mostly because we chose advanced composites for the material and there's no way of mass producing advanced composites. It's a very time uh, con consuming way of building a car but that was the only material that was ever considered really. I mean aluminium for me is old-fashioned now. Is that true that uh, the car you, you use to drive all the day is a, a Fiat 500? I have a Fiat 500, which I use a lot, yeah. I ride motorbikes most of the time. Um, and I uh, also have an original 68 Lotus Elan, which I, I think is a, a very good little 